right, welcome everyone. Today is a very exciting day for me. Um, this is a bucket list. We are going to ride the Cedar Point Causeway and out in Sandusky, Ohio, and it leads to the amusement park Cedar Point. Uh, this causeway was built in 19, well, it was opened in 1957, officially. And it's kind of a back door. It's the road we used to take when we would come here as kids. We live probably about an hour and a half away. So here in Sandusky, I can show you the start is at Route 6. And the causeway is called Cedar Point Road. So we pick it up there and we ride in and all the way out to Cedar Point. And this is just an exciting ride. Um, it's probably one of the most beautiful rides uh, I can imagine. Um, we're in luck this time of year. The lily pads are in bloom and the flowers are out. So the lilies have taken over. So we're excited to take this trip. So um, when I planned this, I I had thought there was a little more berm on the side of the road, so um, poor Jenny, I feel bad. Um, she's a little nervous on this trip, but that's okay. <laughs> she's a trooper, and she wanted to do this ride every bit as much as I did. So um, we came here, this is about 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, if you were to come here between 9, 10 in the morning when the park opens, uh, the traffic would be backed up all the way trying to get in. So um, we did uh, uh, do some run running around in the area, tried to kill some time before we uh, actually did the causeway run. So um, the causeway is about 15 miles long total one way. Um, it does dead end right at the amusement park. There are a lot of homes that were built along the causeway, which doesn't leave much room for for much of anything. So <clears throat> we're heading south on the causeway, and then we will head um, due west. Uh, as you can see out there in the far left uh, uh, lane, you actually have what they call the... Um, lagoon area to the left where um, that protects the area for boaters like to boat in there because the waves aren't as bad as the actual lake itself so but I gotta tell you this is really really a great ride um, just the scenery is just unbelievable so um, we are headed out the, again, the causeway was uh, open in 1957. So, um, and we would come out this way as kids. And I remember driving, and you just couldn't wait to come around the corner coming up. And you would start to see little bits and pieces of the amusement park in the distance. And you just get excited. So. Uh, you see a lot of fishermen out there trying to fish in the lagoons, condos were built. And here we will come along the curve and head due west. They have a break wall built up because the waves actually get pretty good, pretty high. Um, so it, it helps eliminate erosion for the uh, homeowners. And you can see that some had built um, docks and platforms um, uh, along the way. I couldn't tell you the zoning of that or how that even gets done or, or who gets to pick where they can build. So that's uh, in another day, another topic. But um, you can see the left a little bit, the lake right behind the houses. Uh, there are a couple streets up here off to the left and they're not really streets, they're dead ends, they're cul-de-sacs with maybe a few extra homes that jet out, a little more land mass, but um, the homes are just spectacular out here. We have taken 
the boat out to Sandusky a couple times, and that is always a lot of fun. Uh, it's very, uh, what do I want to say, risky out because the lake uh, has a lot of shallow areas, so you really got to pay attention. A lot of people have lost propellers out, out in these waters, so um, you got to stay, stay alert when you're out in this, uh, these, these areas. So, <clears throat> but I'll tell you, you know, we wouldn't even be able to dream of doing a ride like this if it wasn't for owning motorcycle uh, long range bikes. Um, the bikes give us the ability of not to worry about running out of battery on a trip like this. Um, we did bring the bikes out on a bike rack um, and we loaded up right off Route 6. We unloaded, I should say, and then we got on and uh, we we're taking the trip. And uh, again, this is really a big dream come true for me. It's just so pretty through here. So you talk about uh, what you can and can't do on an e-bike. Um, you can do this on a motorcycle bike. You can do this trip no problem. So you can easily there and back. No, no, no worries about range. Will my battery last? All that. So um, it's pretty smooth paved road. So we're lucky in that regard. Um, but either way, it could have been gravel. It could have been dirt. It wouldn't have mattered. Uh, the e-bike, uh, the motorcycles would have had no problem. Uh, even a rainstorm, <laughs> as, as I've done videos of that, of us getting caught in rain. So, <clears throat> so if you're looking, if you're wondering how the bikes hold up in a rainstorm, uh, I've got a video for that. So, but yeah, this is really a special ride. I almost hate even talking. <laughs> There's my partner in crime. Get a little break from the traffic trying to pass us. But you can see some of these homes off to the left. Um, and they're just really amazing. <clears throat> and then you have very, very, if you were able to get over the uh, break wall there to the right, and see uh, some area you have a little beach. Some of you have no beach at all. Um, it, it's very, very uh, difficult to see, but you have patches where you have uh, a lot of beach. And you can tell because you'll see some of the decks that are built in the pathways, walkways over on the right, uh, where uh, the tenants can get in there and, and uh, picnic. Every now and then you can get a glimpse out in the distance of the dragster rides and all the rides at Sear Point will come closer and closer into view. But when you're <laughs> when you're a twelve year old kid or, or any age kid really and you're you're taking this ride, this is the longest ride of your life. <laughs> you wanna you wanna get there so bad. And uh, just looking out the window, trying to anticipate seeing seeing the uh, the rides come into view and the park come into view. So <clears throat> it's been a very long time since I've actually been out in the park. Um, the last time was I used to um, when school would start, first week of school. I'd let my son cut a day, I'd call him in sick, and me and him would go out to Cedar Point for the day after the, the once the schools got open, so there's nobody out there. So we had the park to ourselves, so we would spend the day out there, and uh, that was about 15 years ago was the last time, and then I had an accident and fell off a roof and got hurt, so um, <clears throat> I just couldn't do the rides, so I felt bad, but... Uh, 
that was really the kind of the last time uh, that uh, I've been to Cedar Point. Um, I don't want to go to Cedar Point and not be able to. I know I want to ride the rides, and I know I want to try it, <laughs> but <clears throat> I know I'll pay for it dearly with my, my back. So, but so uh, you know. It's, it's kind of like going to a bar and not drinking, you know, it's not a whole lot of purpose in it, so, of going. So, I haven't gone, we haven't gone, and my wife, poor Jen, she has uh, feet problems, so walking around a park all day is, is rough for her, so we tend to stay away from, from amusement parks, <laughs> so... And that's the uh, plight of getting old. So aging. But you can see some of the homes on to the left. And just the art, it's just the, the architecture and the building out here is, uh, you saw some pretty amazing stuff. It's worth the, the ride. Um, and that was strange, that was rare. It was actually not a house on the right it was a uh, bathhouse, so a very small uh, place where you could go from the beach and, and change. So there, there was one of those. Uh, you see a couple here off to the right, uh, but uh, definitely no homes. So they're all on the left side of the road. But <clears throat> again, I, I feel bad. I'm looking, and, and I felt bad for Jen because. She was a little nervous about take the causeway. And she troopered up and came with me, and she's very happy she did. But uh, you know, I just felt bad um, because I know it was a little bit scary for her. So, but she did appease me because this is one trip I did want to take. Um, I, I did want to fight this very badly. So I owe her one, and uh, I, I just feel lucky. I feel lucky we have the, the e-bikes. Uh, the bikes were able to are able to take us where we want to go. So we never we never stopped a trip um, because we didn't have the right bike. So we've never been able to say, oh, I can't do that because my bike isn't, doesn't have a big enough battery, doesn't, won't be comfortable enough for that trip, or won't uh, be able to make it. <clears throat> so we've never had that conversation. When you own a Mancha cycle bike, period, um, you're really getting the bike that can, can pretty much handle anything you want to throw at it, you know, whether you're young and enthusiastic and want to get dirt root trails or you're older and you want to do do all the bike paths you can or you want to travel and see the causeways and the different areas and do different things uh, you've got the right bike so you're you're not going to have a problem getting around so we're we're very blessed. We have great bikes. Um, the Cruiser is a mid-step bike. Um, uh, the problem I had, I thought I could probably get my leg through that mid-step, but I can't. So, and I have herniated discs throughout my spine, so I have to go in. I have to have work done on it every three to six months. So. Um, I was hoping to get a true step through, so I think that'll be my next move. So I currently have my eye open on a couple different bikes. Um, <clears throat> they have to really, they have a pretty big shoes to fill uh, coming from a Mancha Cycle Cruiser. So um, it, it's tough to find a bike that matches um, a lot of the specs you know, that uh, the cruiser has. Um, so I am looking, and it'll come together. So, but in the meantime, we are not going to stop. We're having a lot of fun. 
And trips like these are just easy to plan now. Before it was, what was the purpose? So, um, we, you could drive this trip, but, you know, we've driven it so many times as we got older that, um, biking is the way to go. <laughs> so, you can see a few boats that were out there docked off. Uh, people with boats will come around and anchor off right close to the beach, the sections of the beach for the causeway. And they'll picnic with family members who live on the causeway. So, and you can see Cedar Point <laughs> coming into view here. And we're running on a causeway. This is the last road. It's a private road we went down because we you got to pay to park, so we didn't want to go into the park today. So we took the road down as far as we could go just to see. And it's amazing, really amazing how gorgeous some of these homes are. So I'm happy you guys came along with me on this trip. This is really a, a wonderful place to bike. Um, be cautious if you do want to come out here. Um, there's not much berm on the road for biking, so you typically want to you know, pick a weekday, maybe mid-afternoon when the traffic isn't, you know, all the people coming to the park have gone. Or maybe it's a trip for, you know, after August when the schools are back in and the parks aren't as busy. Um, you know, that, that could be a good trip too um, when there's not as heavily trafficked area. But this is where we come to our ending. As you can see the roller coasters and all the rides out that way. And it's just an amazing, amazing ride. I'm just so excited. And there is my riding partner, JD. Woo! So, I want to thank everyone for coming along. And, um, you know, I appreciate you watching the channel. And if you like what you see, you'd really be helping the channel out if you could like, subscribe, and, um, you know, join us again. We'll try to do some more trips for you. Again, thank you.